like a drow. I don't know if I've seen Kuroki play it as of recent, but of course, just seeing Visage, it's kind of one of the names you have to throw out there. So sure. something they could always bank on. We'll see if Goomba goes for that ban right here because they know Kuroki's got to be the next up for it. Medusa could also still be an option. They ban out the drow. Let's see if we see a Medusa Blaze. We'll see. We'll have to see. It's a little difficult to facilitate here because the Ancient Apparition and Visage are kind of greedy themselves. Both of them would love to get some farm. So if yes. they go for something a little more commonplace, something with good base attack time, I don't know, Juggernaut even seems like a decent pickup to me, but just something with a good early damage, not necessarily item independent because you're still your carry, but one that doesn't have to have like four items to come online. You want a hero that has a decent tempo behind it so that Visage can make the most of his early game damage from the familiars. And then of course that, that AA and Visage can both look for a little bit of farm here and there. Maybe if you can consider an Aghanim Scepter on the Ancient Apparition relatively early in the game. But still need some good attack speed against that Phoenix and uh, we'll see exactly what they go with. The Drow would have been solid, but uh, I think they can work around it. We'll see what they said to go for. 15 seconds to go. Remember, coming into this one, Dota 2 Lounge has Team Secret about 77% favorite. It's going to be a Lycan nice. grab here. here. So he's going to be benefiting a lot from this one. Good side uh, push uh, available there. They have a fantastic lineup to do Roche as it is with a Visage out there already. A quick snag of a medallion would certainly allow them to control the tempo as far as using the map at its fullest. And with that how globally, it certainly adds a lot. They have a little bit of global flair with that in the AA. Seems like a pretty well-rounded lineup to me here coming out from Secret. Now on the side of Goomba, you see a Lycan. What's the best option here if you're trying to look for a late-game core? That's a really tough call. They need to turtle this up, but uh, I guess the Charcopter would still be my favorite in that regard. But he's still going to have a really hard time as far as the tempo of this game in general. Um, yeah, the Lycan Howl does actually improves the familiar damage by 50 per second. It's uh, only going to be 20 per auto attack, but because they attack two and a half times a second, the math still stands. Charcopter is going to be the pickup here, and he's going to have to make sure... Every usage of Black Cannon counts because if he's not able to farm efficiently enough to get a BKB uh, shortly after Simba finds his Blink Dagger, this Gyrocopter is going to get blown apart and it's going to be a really rough time for him. But they do have a decent laning phase at least, like, like I said, the Phoenix to the Ancient Apparition Visage and, and the Ember Spirit, after he gets to level 3, actually has a pretty good matchup against the Puck. So I like mm -hmm. Goomba's lanes, but the mid game and the early stage of the mid game is going to be all Team Secret. Yeah, we'll have to see how it works out for him, and Crow's one of the ones to find the farm when necessary. I imagine they'll go for a sooner than later kind of a Roche grab, but I really like that gyro grab. I mean, the spread's going to work so nicely against the assault push that Team Seer could bring together. It works great against the birds, uh, and, you know, just from what you called out, man, it, I think it's a beautiful grab here from Goomba. I think they put together a pretty respected draft to go against Team Secret. You know, the favorites being in this one and just well-versed in experience. And we'll have if they can go for the upset or if Team Seeger can hold strong here. They actually are, I know I had, uh, as we do, you know, have this pause, it kind of works for me. Uh, I said that I thought this was going to be a Secrets debut kind of match into Starlight, but they did get some matches in ahead of time. They're currently 2-1, and one, so they are in a top four spot as it stands right now. But as a team who's probably be coming in as one of the favorites in the whole thing, I imagine they're just going to look to secure a lot of wins quickly. And for Goomba, they uh, managed to put themselves up into a same record two and one position as it stands right now. Another win would certainly help out because this is a very much saturated group. The uh, European division in Star Ladder has 16 teams. When you compare that over to like on the American side where they only have mm -hmm. eight, you got a lot of competition here to try to fight your way up into one of those top four spots. Yeah, I mean, I've, just based on predictors of how the teams have been faring, I would say the, the first two slots are kind of well slated as far as what we know of the teams to this point. There are a lot of potential for upsets, but in general, like, you have high expectations for secrets to pull forward, but every win that a, a team like Goomba can take off of a Tier 1 team is one less win that they have to get against an opponent that's actually contesting them for the third or fourth slot there. So really, exactly. really important for Goomba to take this away, and if they want to prove themselves with this kind of new lineup plus some stand-ins, this is definitely the way to go about it. They're going to make their way up to the top here, and they have a pretty good level 1 team fight. when you consider the strength of Rocket Barrage or Flat Cannon at level 1, mm -hmm. and the fact that they have so much control with the Ogre and the Skywrath. 
both teams, I think, feel pretty confident in their level one. you got to remember, Secret do have that AA with Chilling Touch mm. here. They're going to clash right at the start. We're not even going to be able to get off some intros. We might see the gang come out right now. There we go. No holds barred. They go right for Lycan. They get the burst off. He quickly runs to the back lines to get away from this one. Oh, and now birds. going on the retreat. Soul Assumption, they get it. First blood immediately for S4. The nice follow through. And I mean, they might have an admirable level one lineup with that gyro, but Soul Assumption, Chilling mm -hmm. Touch, a bit too much on the side of Secret, and they just immediately get their first blood before even the sound of the horn. Yeah. I did like the attempt on the Phoenix, though, to send out all of his fire spirits there. They do provide an 80 attack speed slow, and the fact that the chilling touch is on everybody on Secret is an additional 20, so they would be attacking mm -hmm. extremely slowly with those fire birds up, but they came out a little late, and the gyrocopter did go for a barrage. It seemed that Roman put an assessment out that this is just going to be a, like, five versus one, quick kill this guy thing, and they got the fire blast rocket barrage and then suddenly all the smokes break out and they see everyone at that point you want to be a little bit further back and you want to have your flat cannon but in this case uh, he gets gunned down then the nice follow through with the orb and with the soul assumption and uh, team secret come out ahead so they're going to move up top here a nice little tri lane for them but how do you feel about them bringing the gyrocopter to, to bear on this top lane uh, it's definitely very unorthodox but they're going to try to do something unorthodox to keep secret guessing but I don't know how it's going to do here. This dual lane going against this uh, three lane matchup where they still have that chilling touch and soul assumption at the ready. Oh. I would be a bit nervous here as Goomba, but we'll see if they can make the best of it because I imagine this uh, RMM Jarn Captor is not going to find as much farm without some additional assistance. I'm surprised that for now they didn't just kind of commit everyone over as S4 is actually putting up some early aggression here on uh -huh. Exist. Takes them down pretty low, almost about 40 life at that one, but here we go. Look at it coming from behind. There's that other support. It's the Ogre. He's trying to be the bouncer for this mid lane, but as they see Ogre in the mid lane, they could look to go aggressive. They already pull out the chilling touch here at the top lane, and there's no tell turning the corner, yeah. but Goomba will step back and try to find proper positioning. But if this is like what you see out of an offlaner who has to step back, and uh, like I said, I don't know if Gyrocopter is going to be finding his farm yeah, it's going to be difficult for him, but the one thing that he's fortunate for is the fact that the Grave Chill is not skilled up yet. When Visage hits 2, this lane gets a lot more scary. As it stands, the Soul Assumption was the best skill for the level 1 clash, but it's not going to give them some security in bringing people down very quickly in this 3v3. So, uh, it is going to be the bottle coming out for S4. If it had come out a lot sooner, as they thought it might with the first blood, then the Ogre actually would have killed it off with an Invis Rune. He was uh, kind of camping out in that mid lane. But uh, he, because he went with a null tally build, he obviously didn't have that much gold to start off with. And it does mean that the Ogre doesn't really get much out of his foray in the mid. In the meantime, down bottom, Simba's going to be taking a lot of damage here. I'm curious if he goes for, like, just the Tranquil Boots outright to try to stay in the lane. Maybe he goes for a Magic Stick. Whatever he gets, he needs to be able to survive longer against this Phoenix because these f Fire Spirits are so good in a 1v1. Ooh, top lane. They want to get aggressive on the side of Secret, but they still can't get quite a hold of him. This creep line is just a little too far forward here, and considering Goomba got to work with the side pull camp, Secret are not going to have the best creep equilibrium early on in this top lane, and at least not as much as they were hoping for. So there is farm slowly coming through here for the gyro. It's 6-2 for him for now, and on the other side, you're seeing the Lycan at 7-1, relatively even, but this, this match got off to the races so dang quick, Blaze. We didn't even get to do any sort of introduction, so I'll just mesh it out here real quick. Goomba, who had been on the Radiant side and did get first blooded. It was RMN on the Gyrocopter. He's right now being accompanied by his support duo, Eid or EDE is playing your Skywrath Mage, and uh, uh, Mr. Gashet is playing your Ogre Magi mid lane. It is your Ember Spirit here right now. Ooh, sidesteps the Ord exist. Uh, have getting constantly harassed back by S4, who many consider one of the best mid laners in the game right now, is 15 and three over Ember's mm -hmm. nine and one. Bottom lane that leaves the one off laner right now. It's the it's the bird, Kaka. It's chill playing the Phoenix. Gets anchor smashed right now. Fly, aka Simba, is really raining down some dominance. Uh, Tidehunter loves to have a, a one on one laning setup. That is just where he just mm. can do what he wants. Yeah, but I think actually Phoenix is favored here. Although Tide is great against melee one v one, the ranged hero is gonna be able to kind of side step away. He's about to pick up Tranquil Boots, and from here Simba's going to have a hard time sustaining. Yeah. He has one Tango left after the one he just ate, and he's got to have to pick up something defensive or consider a, a trip back to the well here. So, it's been quite a nuisance. The Fire Spirits are about as annoying as Anchor Smash is, as far as the debuff that's applied, and yeah, Chill keeps his HP regen going by dropping his Tranquils whenever he goes in for last hits or denies. So, I actually think Phoenix is going to come up ahead now in the lane, although Simba did put out a lot of pressure and yeah. dropped him low, despite the Magic Stick. 
As Simba does get pressured at this point, I imagine he could always move up and start building up those stacks, those precious ancient camp stacks that you know he's going to go for later on. But top lane, now that the creeps have been pushed pretty far forward towards secret side, now they can feel to be a bit more aggressive. And now you see Gyro kind of dancing with the temptation to move forward and try to get a CS. But you overstep, you could be in trouble. Walking around now, it's Goomba. We were just constantly getting as aggressive. I'm just have to keep my eyes up in this top yeah, lane. Definitely. I know something is going to break out the second I try to <laughs> check out something else. <laughs> we'll see which team is going to look to unleash their fury first. Because, I mean, Kroki on the Lycan, I really just want to be bringing in the CS. You know, loving to get that early Vlad's underway and that potential idea of doing Ooh, real sooner than later. But here we go. There's going to be a slow grave chill. Gasha steps back, but that's when he eats his biggest damage, and he does go down. There's my answer as far as who's going to be looking to strike first bottom. in this top laning phase. But at the same Ravage. time, at bottom, they find the Phoenix. It's going to be a nice grab. There's your first Ravage of the game being used from Simba as he takes down the Phoenix. Yeah, he actually used a bottle off the Courier to just refuel. It's actually going to be a drink while I'm mid. Exist does not have the Flame Guard. This could be the kill. Yes, the last right click will come through, and nothing for him to do. I think he could have TP'd. He has a scroll. He could have TP'd that whole time but he just ran around like a chicken Whoa. with his head cut off. Just couldn't believe it, and what well, with that blaze, Secret get kills top, bottom, and mid, as if it was just a formulated... Oh, chill might have this one, though. Section for everyone to go. Bottom lane, though, Simba can't use this bottle while the fire spirit is on him. He would love to, but the ticks just keep coming through. Finally, it's going to be the Icarus dive going across. The Anchor Smash in turn, a Tyler ticks down, and the Phoenix falls with him. Oh, wow. my gosh, that's an intense and hot-headed matchup there. Yeah. Works out perfectly with a Phoenix as well. Nice, hot, and heavy. Uh-oh, S4 tries to shift to the top lane, but gets cut off here from Ogre. Immediately pulls oh. out the shift. Oh, the silence is going to be there. That pesky Skywrath Mage will not allow S4 to go be going anywhere. Yeah. And now Goomba able to grab a kill for themselves. Uh, they got themselves on the board now with that tussle bottom lane, but this is the first time where they make an engagement, and they do profit more from it. Yeah, I don't think he saw the Skywrath there. If he had, he would have just jaunted sooner, but he just wanted to get a little bit more space away from his opponents, and that cost him his life with the Silence coming out, so really nice rotation for the Skyrath, and they do finally get something unrequited, which is uh, beautiful. But it's gonna be Simba back down bottom lane. This bottle was actually a really smart pickup. Like I mentioned, he needed something to help him sustain, and having been able to crow that out twice, and then uh, obviously he did die that last time, he just has so much sustain to keep him here and uh, in the action, and then eventually he can have plenty of mana to TP with the next Ravage in 40 seconds. For now, though, it's gonna be uh, Kuro to farm the jungle here, look for an early Vlad's for himself. While I believe I believe it's going to be uh, Big Daddy No Hill to take the CS, but we'll see. It's right now four creeps for Visage, five creeps for the Ancient Apparition. Again, both of these supports can benefit a lot from early farm. Yeah, so with Koro now moving into the jungle uh, and the supports being able to get a lot from it, like you were talking about. Uh, we could see Puppy try to build forward towards that level 6 and getting that Ice Blast. And of course, No-Tail really coming into his own with those familiars and Ooh. using that micro. But look at the rotation coming through from Goomba and the smoke. They want to make something happen here at the top lane. The creeps are already well under the tower, so they can't really bait forward with the gyro unless a Secret get anxious. But without Kuro being here, I don't think the supports are going to look to go on any sort of assault. So unless Goomba can kind of spread to the jungle and get something caught goes. out... Which very well could happen. They move forward. Concussive's going to catch your Big Daddy, but he's already pretty far back. Icarus dive all the way in. They are invested for this one. They even commit the Egg Ultimate, and they get it. Big Daddy goes down on your Visage. And, uh, well, as they come up big, S4, who had rotated up here to the top lane, they're going to try to get someone on the way out if possible, but it looks like a successful hit and run right now for Goomba. Yeah, but it's just a support pickup on the Visage. It will deter him a little bit from getting the familiars and maybe a little bit of farm, but end of the day, I would say the Phoenix Sun is as valuable as the Ravages. A slightly shorter cooldown, but Supernova is still really impactful to the early fights, and it's actually going to be enabling S4 to go in deep here. Go in, he gets the coil off, but he's doing a lot of damage himself. He does manage to shift over forward and finish off that pesky bird. And now burning at home here, 65 life, feeding some attacks from the range. We'll be able to bottle up and walk away. But as I say that, here comes Ember. Shift, can he get it off? Gets the chains. Does get it done. Nice cleanup. Down play bottom, there again, a Ravage coming out, but Roman is too quick on his feet. Can Simba get the last gush out? He gets it, and he will get the kill. Nice the grab. silence a moment too late. And uh, I think he can walk away from this. He's just really tanky. They've committed the Ogre to come in, but he just TPs. 
Nice job right there. Simba finds something on his own in the bottom lane, taking down the precious gyrocopter. So, Secret, very happy with that one as the supports return right back here on the bottom lane. Both teams really going off the handle on this mm -hmm. one, but it's very apparent Secret favor that their supports be able to bring their levels together. Now designating the mid lane here for their Visage is about to reach the level 5 mark. And uh, for Puppy, who's back in the base, grabbing up all those wards, still at level 5, getting pretty dang close, but... They're probably not as leveled up as they'd like. Now top lane, S4, and Phoenix. Tussle a bit right here. Oh, S4's in a bad damage. spot. Uh-oh. Look who's coming in from behind. Exist is here, and he catches him wow. off. Oh, nice patience right there in positioning from Exist. Sees S4 throw the orb out and is right there with open arms waiting for him. Great remnant play. He's even going to steal up the stack with the flame guard he popped off for the gank, and he's just going to be able to get richer and richer here. He's going to have his drums of endurance already up and start moving in to gank the jungle at no risk to himself because the fire remnant is such a great escape tool once you already kind of prime your spirits, and they don't have hard lockdown other than the rat Ravage, which is still going to be down for a minute. Yep, and with that Ravage on this cooldown, Sim is going to scout out again this bottom room, which he's been doing. We'll probably grab up a haste rune. That'll be very nice to have at about 45 seconds time when the Ravage is back up and at the ready, but Goomba moving towards this mid lane now. Visage so close to the level 6. With the birds coming together, it makes things a whole lot easier because at that point, you know, Kuro, who had been designated to farming up the jungle, has his Vlads now complete. They can go for a decently timed Ooh. Roche, but Goomba got to be on it. They're jumping in top lane. They're moving on in. They want to get a hold of Puppy here. Exist. Cold Feet's going to be dished oh. out. The change is not going to connect on him. He's going to get frozen solid if he's not careful, and it will be there. Coil's already here from S4. They do take down the AA, but Exist might also fall. Remnant puts him out and away towards the left-hand side, and... Well, now they turn their sights potentially back towards S4, Remnant forward, but doesn't commit for it. And S4 is going to be able to fly away from this one, it looks like. So a one-man grab right there on the support, the Captain Puppy, as a secret. Kuroki emerges from the jungle and tries to push down mid lane, but there's your call down from Gyrocop to kind of slow their roll. Down bottom, there was a TP on the Ancient Apparition. Maybe Simba can go for another kill here. You mentioned the haste rune. That's available. ED does scout out the Ancient Apparition, though. And yeah, and it's not really that valuable to pick up the Ogre. Like, they picked up the Phoenix. They picked up the Gyrocopter with the last two Ravages. They want to keep that level of value out of what they're looking for. And uh, in the end, they're just going to hold on to it. And maybe pick up the Blink Dagger here? Yes, it is. So... Wow. Great timing for him. Had a really swell time down bottom as soon as Phoenix left the lane. And speaking of Phoenix, actually doing some good damage to S4 and forcing him to TP back home. Yep. S4 has to peace on out right there. And now, no doubt, he picks up his medallion and some bird friends. Look to put them to strong use right now. If there's a space to work with, Secret, Roche will be able to be easily taken down. or Maybe not easily, but can be taken down, Goomba. Looking to get on it, however, not a lot of ward vision from either team in the area as it stands right now, but their gyro continues to try to farm on up, and I gotta tell you, he's a bit behind as it stands right now. About, what, fifth, sixth as far as net worth goes. He's now farming the jungle with phase boots and, and just a ring of bassy. I feel like he's gonna be a little off his mark, but bottom lane, that's where we're gonna see it go. The coil's gonna catch here on Ogre. Gotcha turns back, gets out a nice stun, trying oh. to make it go on Puppy, and there's a Ravage! Simba catches a big one right there! And now with the rotation through, it's gonna be Gyro looking to get it on this one. No kills yet, though. Phoenix dives on four, trying to get a hold. It's gonna be Big Daddy who gets locked down, Mystic Flared. See you later, Visage, and now... Arcane Bolt flies out. Simba is able to retreat away from this one, but on the backhand side, oh. S4 left behind. Very low. Ignite was already there, and they do take down the Fairy Dragon. It ends up being a two-for-one special in favor of Goomba. They do commit a lot for this one, and of course, Secret had been fighting without the Kuroki Lycan, but that's expected at this point. Oh. Uh oh Remnant Ford exists once more. Simba going to get caught down and burned up. See you later. Chill. Oh, moves on to a killing gone. spree. Here comes a big ice blast. Catches Chill and takes him out. Nice jumper coming out from Puppy from the three-point line. And Exist very low as well. 150. Will he shatter? He will not. Huh. Only level one. Not a long duration right there. And uh, with just a slight negative earn charge, it's going to be enough to put Visage back. But still Goomba gaming, man. Yeah. 
getting a lot out of this. But I would have to say that those last two kills are really impactful because, I'm, yeah, sure, they're just a kill in the Phoenix or whatever, but it gives time for Kuro to take the tower in mid lane from yes. 100 to 0. Obviously, S4 is not really a pushing mid. He didn't do anything to that tower, but Kuro just says, okay, give me time, guys. Kill off a hero too, and we'll clean it up. Now the mechanism comes out for the Phoenix, but he's going to have to use that pre-ice class for it to be actually uh, effective there. We're going to see the Roche attempt now. They've got the Wolves. They've got the Familiars. The Medallion is up, and man, this thing drops quick. Yeah, after that engagement bottom lane, and uh, they don't have the Phoenix ultimate to work with. This is just beautiful timing right now from Secret to be able to move right to the pit, and it doesn't take a whole lot of muscle whatsoever. You see the Revit come through, but it's just a little too late. Goomba are not going to be able to catch that one, and your Aegis is going to be thrown actually to S4 here. Uh, as uh, I would imagine with a move like that, Kuro is just going to keep farming up not looking to engage and where S4 and, and the rest of the gang try to take their engagement, they'll not have this extra life to work with. At least that's just what I'm getting from this. Yeah, so it's, I mean, right now it's objective Dota for Secret. It's just kill Dota for Goomba. They are looking to get uh, piggybacking off of their kills into a level where they can actually fight the mid game. But as it stands right now, without BKBs, they're going to be looking really sore. And uh, obviously, uh, so far, Team Secret have been taking uh, some really good fights. And with this Aegis, seems very difficult to bring him down. Kuro's going to be taking the bottom tier one while the fight ensues up top. We're going to see Simba TP with that blink dagger, and we'll see how good the Ravage may be. Orb forward from S4 will not go to it, but your Ice Blast will connect on Skyrath Mage and Phoenix. Quick TP reaction. Nope. Denied. S4 throws down the coil, but he walks right into a Mystic Flare. Has to turn the corner and away from this one. They do manage to take him down. S4 is able to jump oh. away from this one, but the Aegis will be used. An Aegis life for the Skyrath Mage. Maybe not the best, but still a kill nonetheless. And bottom lane, they get that Tier Kuro's tower, farming the jungle. So. He didn't even need to bring the, the wolf body to uh, the tower itself. He gets to farm the jungle, yep. have his cake, eat it too, as he just chews down on that tier one with these summons. And that gives farm for Simba, and Simba gets his arcane boots. So he's feeling pretty farmed, and now he has a great mana pool to work with to make sure he has the Ravage at the ready. Puppy, who does connect with his Ice Blast here on Gyro, but there is going to be no follow-through from it. But Secret slowly coming right back into... Typical secret ways. It looked like a prominent start there from Goomba. But we'll see here. Top lane. S4 goes right up and above over the hill. Oh, Phoenix showing that he has a little bit of that dive potential, but only just does it as a bit of harassment. Will not commit for anything. But uh, I don't know. As they say, that exists. Scouting out this mid lane where Puppy is. They would love to be able to take down this flimsy little support AA if possible. Yeah, and very easy pick off, but it's hard to get out without losing any life. We'll see him jump in here. He does activate the flame guard, but Puppy just CPs, and he will find the kill. Just barely. Now exists in a really bad spot. Free, though. I doubt it. He's That's in such a tough position here, but he uses the TP scroll. The familiar stun will be on points, and exists is in no man's land. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Was it worth it now, buddy? Exists. Nowhere really to go. Throws out the chains. which will connect, but Big Daddy... Falls through with a kill, gets a bit of redemption. His, you know, struggling start, getting harassed way too much, but excellent work right there being on it with those familiars and that stun. Prevents Exist from getting the easy getaway, and he commits a lot for, and waits quite a bit for that kill, and it doesn't really work out to his liking. It's now 11 oh. to 11. Looking at the uh, net worth for both teams, it's still all secret. That persistent farm, the Roche, and objective gaming from Secret Gaming just shows that that's what matters. Yeah. Not really so much getting caught out too much early. Kuro is microing really nicely right now. He popped the Necronomicon to farm this camp over to the west, and he actually he like focus fired the creep that has mana so that the melee Necronomicon was able to burn through that and get more DPS time. Like he is just he's using his wolves, he's using the necros, he's doing everything to farm efficiently, and that's how this guy just gets so much gold. Already nine thousand net worth. He's just been playing the yeah. farm game. Space created for Kuro, and he's got a necro too. What do they have to respond to the late game that Lycan's already building up? Gyrocopter is still pretty far behind here, trying to throw together the early makings of a BKB, but he's only sporting about 5,200 net worth, and you compare that to the 9K of Kuro, it's just rough right now. And Gyro's going to really need to try to find his way. The other four can't really do it a whole lot on their own. Exist does have his drums put together, looking to put together a, a, what looks like a Battle Fury thereafter. Just getting a bit nervous for the late game. Secrets seem to be finding exactly what they want as far as farm for their core here, and 
S4 continues to dance in their area. They're also been taking away the uh, the jungle farm from Goomba side also, so they are taking advantage of a lot of the map and all of the farm. Mm -hmm. Most definitely, yeah. This has been r causing them to constantly rotate to defend. They've only been able to take one tower this entire game, and this Lycan is just, it's not just the fact that he's like, has a good late game as a hero, it's how fast this late game is coming up with the tempo that he's been able to build under himself. I mean, he's completely outclassing the gyrocopter right now. 9,700 compared to 5,600 net worth. Like, they're in completely different ballpark when it comes to farm. The flat cannon. Jump in, Ravage. It does get Ogre, and Ogre goes down. Exist follows through. It's going to be a nice slide of fists as they're very, very low, but not low enough. Phoenix jumps forward, pulls out the ultimate, starts burning him down. S4 does fall. Exists, though. Very low on this one. Call down comes through. They take out Simba. And Karuro, very, very low, pops Ouch. his wolf form and speeds out of there at a 650 move speed. Right back to his side. It's three for one at what Secret thought would be an easy upfront engagement. They don't get as much as they'd like out of that Ravage, and the fall through from Goomba proves to be a lot. Yeah, that was pretty painful, actually. Surprisingly, Puppy was not able to use his urn on himself. He didn't have any debuffs on him, and the Arcane Bolt would have brought him down, so I think he might have been able to live if he had uh, been able to use the urn. But yeah, in this case, it's just they didn't commit the Necro 1. They wanted to wait till they farmed up the Necro 3, and just the timing wasn't right. So they lose a very, very impactful fight. Uh, with only, The only one getting farm out of it is Big Daddy No-Tail up top. He is halfway to his Aghanims. They want Gyro. They hit him with the Ice Blast. It brings him down to half-life. He's very close. Now they're going to see him sneak on out and try to get away from this one. They also want Skyrath. Skyrath does TP out the last second right there, but Gyro not going to be so lucky. Hunted down from those familiars, and now Simba eating a little bit of harassment here from Exist. It's Goomba now on the retreat. Secret do get their one hmm. pick down, taking out the Gyrocopter, so a very nice grab for them. I thought that maybe they weren't going to commit because they didn't have the coil, but I'm proven wrong. But Big Daddy oh. right in the middle of it. Ice Blast does connect very nicely on Exist. The coil's going to be there as well. Your Ember Spirit goes down, and Secret now make it a two for nil at this point. And they still hold strong right here. Mind you, all the meanwhile, Kuro continues to farm on the side. They don't even need this Wolfman. Yeah, really solid bait from uh, the Visage there and enabling his team to just kind of follow through. They've got great counter-initiating tools with or without Ravage, as we've seen. I mean, how can Blink Anchor Smash makes enough impact in these fights at this stage because the uh, damage from the heroes right now is primarily base damage. Like, you have a broadsword on the Ember Spirit. You've got... I don't know, like a, the phase boots on Gyrocopter, but everything else is base damage from Agility, and the Anchor Smash mitigates a lot of that, so they just are very underfarmed. I'm glad that he didn't f finish up the drums, and that uh, Roman is actually going for the Yasha BKB buildup. I just don't know if it's fast enough with the amount of pressure they're under. Ravage up in four seconds, they're going to be going in, and this could be like a base-breaking fight based on the fact that yep. the Necro 3 can push so qu quickly from the Lycan. Yeah. It's ridiculous. A big, devastating fight. Even just taking down, like, three could allow this wolf to just start blowing down your home. Yeah. Well, we'll see here as... Oh, he's taking the stack, too. Up. Oh, that oh, sucks. Oh, he's getting the stack. Will he get away with it, though? You already see Ember in the area exist. It's pinged out right now. They know it's happening, but they're losing so much economy from mm -hmm. him being able to take this stack with ease. And it's warded, too, so oh. they don't get any more spawns. He's going to have to shapeshift oh, for this Ogre one, though. Ogre is scouted from the wolves. Phoenix also comes through, but he's so dang quick. Can they stop him? All the meanwhile, S4 gets his kill, gets a couple of kills on the bottom, taking out Gyro, and all the meanwhile, it's Kuro, who's going to be able to TP right back home in the base, and he creates the space necessary for the rest of his mm -hmm. team to fall through there on the bottom lane. They get Gyro, they get Sky Wrath Mage, Secret now with like three big fights going their way, showing that the early game was just, it was just a fun. And now you look at Simba, he's farming up his own big stack here, and he's going to be able to move in towards the next big item. Could go for that mechanism as the team is lacking it, or he could just go straight for four staff refresher type build up. I mean, this is, uh, world is his oyster with this much pro item progression. Puppy is going to try to defend the tier one mid at the cost of his own life, but uh, we'll see if they get the turnaround with that ice blast. They're focusing now. The egg, can they take it down in time? They can't. He oh. does get rebirthed. It's a support for support as it stands with that Icarus dive. Phoenix goes all the way back to his home side. And unfortunately, Simba not going to be there in time to try to catch him out with maybe a, a Ravage or at least a Gush. So it's a one-for-one -one trade. They invest 
a good dive for it, and even the Phoenix Ultimate. We'll have to see if Secret try to use this small window of time without that Ultimate mm -hmm. being available to maybe go for some more objectives. Yep. Some quick courier uses to check if the Roche has spawned. It is going to be spawning up here in just about 15 seconds, so pretty big deal for them to be ready for it and take it down as quickly as possible, uh, especially since the Supernova is on cooldown and the Ravage is not. However, as far as vision goes, they will not be scouting it out upon its respawn. They're going to have to make their way back there in the near future. It's just ridiculous to really look at the scope of how much more up and above Kuro is mm -hmm. above the other team. He's nearly doubled the next biggest net worth, which is the Phoenix, and that's scary on a Lycan. They can pretty much do what they want at this point. He's got about 1,500 gold, and Roche is already back up. So as they move to that area, they look to place down some wards. They already have one right here, and I don't know. We'll see if they want to just kind of move on in for a side grab or could make another possible engagement like they did previously and follow through at that point. But for now, Goomba still trying to farm to at least catch up with that Wolfman, exists in this top lane, trying to finish out his Battle Fury. And Gyrocopter was already picked off previously on the bottom, still trying to get a hold of that BKB. He stopped along the way to get a hold of a Yasha here, but... I don't know, it's still not going to be quite enough. Yeah, the BKB and the Battle Fury could certainly be turning points, though. Defending on the high ground against Familiars and Wolves and Necros with the Battle Fury Sled Fist is absolutely incredible. And obviously the BKB will allow the Gyrocopter to get his full flat cannon off. So they can really clear out all these summons uh, without too much difficulty if they're able to actually stay alive for as long as they need to. S4 is actually going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Exist here. Pops the Drink Coil just to lock him in, but he still catches with the chains. He's going to jaunt out, but the Remnant follow-through S4 is being burned down once again and will just barely blink out with 29 HP. Wow. Barely slips away from that one. Exist thought he had his number, but just too elusive, too slippery is that puck. That Blink Dagger just makes mm -hmm. it so much harder. Imagine once he finishes out the Yules, then things get even more hairy if you're trying to go against or get down this puck. Now, smoked up. Secret not wasting a moment after Exist makes that jump on top lane. This is their time to try to take a yep. big team fight with that Ravage and be able to follow through with a rewarding Roche. And now they're going to get a hold of Phoenix here. They move on forward. They do commit the Ravage. They get the kill because they know with that kill, it's an easy Roche. And they go right towards the area. They don't quite do it yet. Where's Kuro at? He's on his way. He wolfs up, actually, and runs there. He's sprinting there. I want that Aegis, and I want it now. 650 MS. He's just going to jump right in there, and there's not really anything they can do, as you said. Uh, they actually used the Supernova while the fight was going on up top. They tried to pick off Puppy, but he walks away from it, and they di didn't get anything out of using the Supernova. So, end of the day, Gyrocopter just has to farm while they know they're doing Roche. That is a foregone conclusion, but maybe the Gyro can get the BKB in time. He's not too far off of it. He is just going to be farming up the last components here he needs 29.75 and by selling an item he's now only 300 gold away yeah but i can't but feel now with the ages going for karaoke and all the funds continuing to build up for him that just means that once he finishes out the ac he'll probably make a go right for the base next big fight with a big ravage they can probably try to take at least a set of racks or two at least that seems to be the game plan for now for Secret. Ooh. It's Goomba waiting out this top lane. Maybe try to see if they can hunt through the jungle and catch out Kuro farming and remove that Aegis sooner than later. It is going to be Puppy in the area as uh, he waits out by the tower. Goomba sweeping on in here. Ooh. They know the Ravage is down as well, so this is their time to take a fight. But here we go. Concussive shot thrown on out. Puppy at the same time throws out. Trying to get a hold of Exist right here, who does get the coil here. They do manage to take down Puppy. The Ignite's going to burn on through, but they might lose more for it. There you see the Ogre goes down, so a one for one. Now Exist. Oh, Desperate retreat did not flame to guard. from this one. Remnant, but they continue to chase with the Orb on forward right here. And... Exist does live, but the Yule's now going to be thrown up. Jump forward, Acre Smash. Huge damage right there. And with the Mystic Flare, S4 so low will go down. Make it a two for two now. And here we go. Stun going to be catching right here. Kuro not popping his wolf form. Doesn't really need to. Does show up. And, well, it ends up being a two for two at the end of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now he might as well just draw a line down the left side of the mini map. This entire lane is gone and the towers go. Look how fast the tier 1 drops. They do get two fortifications to hold it because of the refresh of that fortify, but it's not going to dissuade him too much here. He's going to fall back. The tower is going to go down, and uh, he's just trying to prevent Exist from denying it. But he actually, with the battle fairy, is able to clean up all the necros, and it is going to be deny in favor of the Ember Spirit. To deny... He gets a snowball to the face, but he's okay with that, so they take away that bit of farm, and 
they're unable to kind of charge down that north and really get a lot out of it, so props to Goomba for that one, but now their Phoenix, seeing a bit of damage from those birds, is going to be forced to dive away and TP on out as uh, No-Tail, who'd finished out the Agnums, is putting to use those three birds right now, and well, he puts himself back towards this mid lane. Your current kill score count being 20 to 17, but it's all secret all day as far as net worth is concerned. Over 12k now to their favor. XP roughly the same. I'm getting exactly what they want. Two different Roches. They're starting to take towers and Goomba starting to feel a little bit more in desperation mode. Now as they smoke up and head right back towards the top lane once more. Last time, the engagement not as good as they were hoping for. But this time, we'll see if they can find something different. Mm. They're going to migrate right towards the mid lane, it looks. Where most of the secret are, but they're on their way out from below. And... They're getting a, gl a Ganser at all this, but they don't really have a lot of vision, so just all that game sense for Secret is putting them in pretty good position. Yeah, I think that they're actually hit a nice little power spike here now that they got the BKB and Battle Fury done, though. As far as holding the high ground, if they don't get picked off outside their base and, and they're put into a full 5-on-5, five five, there is actually some real chance for them to hold. Whereas before, there was absolutely no chance. Now they're not necessarily in fighting form, but they're ready to hold it in a desperate situation. Commit a buyback or two, you will get a 5-man wipe away. And uh, until Team Secret farm up the Refresh Orb on Simba, which isn't that far off, to be honest, and they still won't be 100% confident in the full 5 Man. Middle tower we'll see. I mean, the Roche, or not the Roche, the Aegis rather, getting ready to expire. About 1 minute 30, 1 minute left. They would love to make a fight happen here with the Blink, the Ravage, and Radiance big, big objective push, fallen. if possible. You see your Ice Blast fly out, go right behind the tower, will not catch on anyone. But here we go, starting to break the high ground. Kuro moves in, oh. doesn't commit the Necro Book just yet, but the call down will come through. He's going to get as much damage as possible with his first life before committing a whole lot, while the rest of his team zones them back. The Tier 3 quickly goes down. Kuro will lose his life. They also lose S4. Now let's see here. Goomba want to be able to get what they can for losing that Tier 3. They put their sights on Kuro, who already pops the Wolf Form. Gyro pops his own BKB. There's your big Ravage. Does catch, but not enough damage to really do a whole lot. More for crowd control, looks like, as Simba helps out his comrade and being able to get away from this one. Kuro pulls out the Retreat Call. And uh, with an Ice Blast right there catching, they're thinking about maybe a turn back. Exist cannot keep pursuing. and. Now they see Ooh. Big Daddy throwing a nice multicast stun, and he's eating a full blast from that wave, and it is going to be cleaned up right there from Exist, and it's going to be a two-for-one, it looks like, though. Team Secret do take that Tier 3 tower pretty dang quick, and they don't have to lose the Aegis for it, but it does expire. Yeah. Oh, no, they did lose the Aegis. Yeah, they did. doesn't expire. They walk back. I'd have to say, though, Goomba put up a pretty nice defense. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, up against the Aegis on the Lycan, it, it's difficult to hold, but they did what they needed to. They got the Silence out on Puck, so he didn't get his full arsenal of spells. And although the Mystic Flare didn't really do anything because uh, the Puck was able to Yules away, it still was uh, spells traded back and forth. Their prime initiation was the Puck, and when he got kind of set back there, Okoro will shapeshift. I think he's home free, but the Searing Chains might have a different story. Oh, he uses it on the Ooh. Creeps, and Kuro will make it home. Home. The magic missile Very will hurt, nice. but it won't kill him. Nice little sidestep there. It does force out the shapeshift. Admirable effort right there for Goomba to try to come on in. They got the stun off. It left him in the cooldown, but just too dang fast. Even with that shapeshift delay, once he does get it off, 650, man. It's race car mode, and he just runs on away anywhere he wants and gets away. So now Secret in this bottom lane, still holding strong this Tier 1 tower. Just to go show that Goomba Gaming still need to try to take down some of the money that's available on the map. And Secret not handing anything over too easy. They would love to be able to keep this tower, but hmm. for now, Goomba just kind of holding back. I feel like the longer they wait to try to make something happen, Curl becomes that much more scary, and then Simba's going to get that much closer to his Refresher Orb, and things could become... Well, too much yeah, he, for Goomba. Uh, Simba's only 1,700 off of that refresher now, and he is farming up a double stack, or a triple stack of Ancients. So, yeah, the time bomb is ticking here. When Simba finds that refresher orb, hey, which is going to be at, like, the 35-minute mark, I don't know if Goomba have the potential to bring it back. This is kind of like the, the last... A big sledgehammer to, to nail in the coffin. They've already been dominating this game very effectively. Only the most recent fight uh, cost them, but that Refresher Orb is just such an amazing late game utility, and I don't feel that Goomba have a good answer. Like, the Ember Spirit doesn't have a BKB. He's going to be going for the Daedalus to uh, obviously have that defense, but if he gets caught by one Ravage, he's going to be caught by the second, and suddenly you just won't have the ability to counter push. We'll see as they might have to test the defense 
sooner than later here. Simba jumps forward, continues to farm up. So dang close. Finishing out that refresher and, and now back. Everyone just really farming it up right now on the side of Secret is Goomba, the team that's pretty far behind at this point. Trying to bounce on back. They are the underdogs coming into this one, though, I'd have to say. Putting up a pretty strong effort. And had a pretty strong start. Mind you, they uh, were up and ahead in the early game. I want to say by like 6-2 to two at one point. But Secret found their way, found their time to farm up, and the four outside of Kuro managed to take some pretty good fights and pretty good pickoffs without even needing the Lycan. And that was more than enough for them to segue beautifully towards this late game. And for Goomba, they got to dig deep. They got to get their gyrocopter to bring together some pretty good levels. He's got the Eagle Song now, so a butterfly would certainly help as there's no MKB to be seen on the side of Secret, but we'll see if they can do it. And maybe at one point they'll have to dig deep for a Hail Mary kind of rapier pickup. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Uh, I actually think the, life the gyrocopter could also look at lifesteal after the butterfly, considering the fact the AA doesn't have an Aghanim Scepter. It's not the ideal mm -hmm. pickup, but I think it would help him for going for, like, say, we're in a desperate situation, one laner racks down, you can go for a Divine Rapier after the Helm of the Dominator. But butterfly is certainly the item of choice for now, and we'll just see if he can actually get to that next tier of farm. It's actually just amazing how well Kuro has been able to bounce back. Of course, they went for that aggressive trial lane to suppress the Lycan and to also give the Tide the harder matchup. And as as it stands, Kuro was just, with the four distract from one play from Secret, able to bounce back so heavily. Like, 5k net mm -hmm. worth, and then 20 minutes later, he's up to 20k. It's just insane how well he's been able to farm. But he will be peeking out relatively soon. He's got, uh, like, BOTs to transition to that will free up one slot. Maybe sell the Vlads for, like, an Abyssal Blade. And after that, you're pretty well where you want to be. Heart and Abyssal, I would say, the only points of progression for him. Now, if Goomba weren't so far behind with the farm or managed to pull themselves back into a little bit more, I would say they definitely have potential to, to contest Secret's late game. I mean, you have the spread of a Gyrocopter plus an Ember Spirit. The wave clearing is very much there on the side of Goomba as far as preventing the, the huge push. And if they can bring together some reasonable damage and right click, they can really uh, take it to Secret, even with two Ravages. But Secret right now at this point are just a little too far ahead. And well, now they smoke up and... I think it's their time to kind of make something happen here. Kuro did recently pick up that BKB. It's a full fresh 10 seconds, so I think they're feeling pretty confident at this point. But at that same moment, Goomba doing a little bit of their own smoke tactics here. Move on in. They're just across the river from each they other. They have no there buybacks. Jump forward. Big Ravage. Not one, but two. Phoenix immediately taken down, and at the drop of a hat, they lose two more. Three hit the deck immediately. A beautiful coil follow up, and... This is going to be Secret's fight to take, that's for sure. We're going to go for all five if they want it. Exist, going to get caught out here and make it five. Uh -huh. Wow. It doesn't take long. Secret find a huge jump in right there on the back of Simba's double ravage. Yeah. And Goomba, out. And they had absolutely no buybacks until the Ember Spirit was able to get a kill on the puck. Then he got enough gold for it. But otherwise, they are just so broke. Buying out that Eagle Song cost the Gyro his buyback, and that's going to cost them their top lane. Maybe their mid. It's going to be a very quick rotation in. This Refresh Orb is the back-breaking item wow. when you're playing against Team Secret. The second that that Refresher comes out, the game is infinitely oh. more difficult. Their power level no is over 9,000. I just don't even know. And they're going right for the jugular at this point. Mind you, Kuro hasn't even had to use his shapeshift yet, mm. or his BKB. Now here we go. It's Goomba coming back from nice. the dead. They do Dive manage back. to take down S4 right there, but Simba comes right back in, anchor smash, and right clicks and gets it done. His own killing spree put together as Exist falls again. He's out for 80 plus seconds. No coming back. Big Daddy able to make it away on the back of that TP and oh the well, secret. Move on forward and chomp down and take apart Gyrocopter. Dead as well and out. Secret, even on the after fight, get the better of it, taking down three for two. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, at least they didn't actually take the two lanes of racks though. They went for the throne a little greedily, and whereas they could have two lanes of racks in advantage, they only have one and maybe a range. We'll see these familiars kind of dance around the poor melee players. hero plate. But uh, <laughs> the racks, at least for the moment, stands at 150. Dancing around, trying to at least sneak in one more Rax takedown if he could. Ice Blast does come in, but it's too late from where they are, and these birds are just proven to be a nuisance inside the base those still. Are, those are the BM birds, Daddy, man. He's he just having fun with it. down the stun. Ooh, hides them away. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, you got you. You, you just good? hear no tail laughing about this. Like, they, those are just BM birds. They're just mucking uh. about. And we're gonna see the roast come down, the abyssal come out, and as soon as that refresh orb comes up in 44 seconds, I would have to say the game is over. They did, like I said, get a little greedy, not taking down any more racks than they could have, but they do finish off the range racks with the familiars, and they're going to be at full force in about 30 seconds here, so it's not really too big of a cost. Starcopter will be able to clean up one bird, almost two, but uh, in the end, they're going to have that resummon available anyways, and well, it's a yeah. couple hundred gold between carries. Yeah, it's, it's a hundred gold for them to definitely secure the Roche that Goomba can't even leave the base because they have their arms full with these birds, these pesky birds! They do manage to take down that one Rax, and well, now Secret, like you said, this is their time and their fight to really just kind of stomp Goomba. If it wasn't hard enough before, now with Abyssal Blade and that Refresher back up and at the ready, and a cheese even on Simba, this is going to take a miracle Hail Mary defense from Goomba to try to stay alive. Yeah. We'll have to Ro see what they can do. Roman did go for an Ethereal Blade instead of the Butterfly. It is cheaper, and um, it does offer some unique utility. The fact that you can actually like become completely immune if you have E-Blade and BKB, but not if you don't get the chance to use it. No yeah, buyback on him. destroyed like that, Blaze. Unfortunately, uh, here we go. The Coil catches on two. There's a Ravage. The second one is they hold down all three, and... Well, look to clear out the Goomba house. It's going to be Team Secret looking just as dominating as ever. OS4 does pop. It's just going to be the Aegis that he was gifted. And now Phoenix, Focus Fires, Puppy Puppy does go down here. They lose but both look at their the supports. See Simba still dancing out in the meantime. What's Kuro doing? Oh, he's taking the base. That's right. Bottom lane sweeps through easily, takes out both sets of racks. He's like, I'm done with this game. Can we just hurry up and get this over with? We got one more game after this one, and we're just going to look to go right for the throne in. That looks like it will be it. Team Secret, man. They're the favorites coming in, and they show why. Uh -huh. It's all Kuro on this big bad wolf, and Goomba didn't really stand much of a chance. Damn. Incredible space creation from four members of Secret. Incredible farm from Kuro to bounce back. And then, really, the game breaker there. Simba Refresher Tide. It's still why I say this is the most powerful hero in the game, and if you don't ban it, you better respect.